I'm Lisa Speaker in Lansing, Michigan. We at the Speaker Law Firm do family law appeals all over the state of Michigan. Today, I'm gonna to give tips to family law trial attorneys about how to advise their clients when issues pop up, even though the case is pending on appeal. When your client has an appeal pending in their family law case, you might think that there's nothing that you can do as a trial attorney to help them with the process, but that's not true. There are a lot of things that happen in the life of a family even while a case is pending on appeal. There are four different types of modifiable orders, and those orders can be modified even while the case is on appeal. Those four types of orders are child support orders, spousal support orders, parenting time orders, and custody orders. Even though your client's family law case is pending on appeal, you can still file a motion to modify one of those four types of orders. Now, the judges might have reasons why they don't want to hear the case because the appeal is pending, but you need to resolve those issues to help out the client the best you can, even with a pending appeal. So some of the excuses the judges will have for delaying deciding these modifiable issues are that they don't have the record because it's already been sent to the Court of Appeals. Well, that may be true, um, but they, they are still required to hear your modifiable motions, so don't let that stop you. They also might not want to disturb the order that's currently pending on appeal. But again, if there are things that have happened, if there's been a change of circumstances while the appeal is pending, it is completely appropriate to bring that to the judge's attention. And finally, judges just don't like when people come back to court a lot. So you have to really carefully think about whether the things that have happened while the appeal is pending really are significant enough to justify coming back to the trial court because taking into account that judges don't wanna see parties coming to their court every year or every six months to litigate every single issue. So when you're filing your motion to modify one of these modifiable orders and you think you're gonna get some resistance from the trial judge on hearing that motion while the appeal's pending, there's some authority that you can cite in your motion to help the process along. First, you can cite MCR 7208A, which allows certain things to be heard even though an appeal is pending. But more significantly, there's two Supreme Court decisions that give the trial courts the authority to consider these modifiable orders even though an appeal is pending. The first is the case of Lemon v. Lemon, and that is where the Supreme Court identified that even though child support or spouse support um, is pending on appeal, it can still be modified during the appeal period. And more recently, and even more significantly for a lot of our cases, is the Safdar versus Aziz case, which was a custody and domicile case where things were happening while that custody case was pending on appeal. And the Michigan Supreme Court said, that's a modifiable order and you can pursue it in the trial court even though the appeal is pending. I hope you found today's information helpful. To get a downloadable checklist, look at the description below. Or if you need help with any of your clients' cases, feel free to call us at the Speaker Law Firm.